I got asked the pH of 0.1 mole per liter barium hydroxide. Now, I, when I initially saw this question, I thought it might have been a trick. I thought maybe the barium hydroxide wouldn't completely dissolve because it's not soluble. So I looked it up. The solubility is five grams per 100 milliliters. That's 50 grams in every liter, and that ends up being 0.3 moles per liter. So if the number you're given here is less than 0.3, which mine is, then this is a totally valid question, okay? Now, your job is to realize that each BaOH2 molecule gives you two or double the concentration of OH minus ions when it dissolves. That's the only trick here. An ionic hydroxide will dissolve 100% to give you OH ions dissolved in water, you just have to see how many you get from each one and watch out for tricks of things that just don't dissolve completely. All right, now how do you get that into pH? Well, one option is to remember that there's something called pOH, which is the negative log of the OH minus concentration in moles per liter. That is the negative log of 0.2, which if you don't know it, you can go to your trusty calculator. That is the negative log of 0.2. I get 0.698. I'm gonna round that to 0 0.70. And then you just have to convert pOH to pH at 25 or room temperature. The two of them have to add up to 14. So you get the pH from 14 minus the pOH, that's 14 minus 0 0.7, which gives me 13.3. That is wickedly basic, but hey, so am I. And so is this solution, because it's a relatively high concentration of a strong base. Cool, that was pretty easy and well explained if I do say so myself. Best of luck.